Hello there, Timmy. Nope. Not down there. Over here. There we are. So, son, are you interested in learning how to role play? Great. Have a seat and let's get started. So you want to be a great role player? A noble aspiration. Let's take a moment to follow two role players as they attempt to create interesting RP. On the left is Richard Penn. On the right, Kevin Otto Smith. For the sake of clarity, let's just call them RP and KOS. Here we see the two meeting for the first time. Oh, um, hey, stranger. Both used pulse check. It can help in case a report is needed. But remember to be subtle and not obvious. Oh, oh hey there, Richard. Have we met before, or...? Uh-oh, poor KOS has fumbled already. Metagaming someone is never okay. After trying to explain that last situation, KOS has found himself meeting another fellow. Let's listen in. How are you doing today? Are you American? Ah, what's in the mission dash the speaking? Uh, excuse me, um, I think it's... It's better when we speak English, yes. Oh dear, KOS seems to have forgotten this unfortunate fellow is just playing a character. He doesn't actually speak German. So much for immersion. That's just as bad as trying to point out someone's accent being imperfect. Remember, everyone's doing their best. It's better. I know German. I grew up in Germany, in Berlin. I am German. No? Let's check back in with RP. All right, damn. Sorry I asked. You. A frustrating me like a s on her period. Get out! This is my house. Get out, lame. You can have your fing house, man. It looks like our friend RP has run across a man who's got a few problems. Hmm, this is sure to be interesting. It's my house. Unfortunately, it seems KOS is also a troubled fellow, and he's got a troubled friend. What the f is going on? My, my peanut butter tickles uh, a pickle. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, KOS, don't encourage that. That's not realistic at all in this situation. Someone hasn't been doing their research. Those two are going to be busy for a while. Let's take a look at a few other folks. Well, that's peculiar. Still, it's a game. Glitches do happen. This is weird, man. I mean, I would this is it. not what I was expecting when I got here. My, my, ignore a glitch or explain it away. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. This is too weird for me anyway, so, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna pretend it's not there. I, Don't I focus see. on it unless you want your immersion to be broken. It seems that RP has been injured in his dealings with the madman in the church. Ah, uh, God, that f***ing hurt. Gosh, you all right? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Fine, you just go do your thing. Right. But, hey, yeah. don't go south. A real fucking nut job out there. Well, that's some mighty strong language. Still, that cut looked pretty bad. I suppose we'd all curse a little in his place. This is my house. You're not allowed okay. here. You know, I can't even deal with the bullshit. I swear to God, you cowboy wearing something, son of a goddamn motherfucker. You know what? You're shit than a shit stain. You would probably sell faster than a. Oh, sweet merciful heavens, KOS apparently doesn't understand the line between being a little vulgar and being an extreme bigot. Most games draw the line about certain types of actions and phrases. I think we need a cooldown after that one. Let's take a look at some others. Now there's something worth noting. Picking a distinctive look, sound, and behavior can really make you stand out. There's a quality about the right clothing and behavior that paints a clear picture of who you are before you even say a word. My, isn't he looking dapper? Here we have KOS again. What's he up to now? Wait, is he on the roof? Yeah, yeah you know yeah, not. Put your hands up right now. No, I'm like that one guy from that one movie, Flash. Yeah, yeah. Now you're not getting my gear, bitch. Hurry up, hurry. Oh, f Jesus. What a waste. Value for your character's life is a keystone of quality roleplay. No value for life twice in a single interaction is plain poor form. Tisk tisk. I guess there's nothing to do but check in on RP while we wait for KOS to re-gear. Oh, uh, hey there. Seems we have the opposite problem. Uh, okay, bye now. Why do they always do that? She values her life a little too much. What's the point of joining an RP server if you don't RP? KOS has managed to re-gear, and it looks like he's found a new friend. When the aliens took me up in their ship, they told me I was going to be one of the immune. If zombie bites don't affect me. 
uh, I realize this is questionable times, considering you're seeing these things wandering about, but aliens. There was a big television broadcast about the aliens coming to help us. Uh, no, there wasn't. KOS just can't stay out of trouble. This would be a stretch for an insane character. Playing someone who's supposedly sane means he's decided to ignore the game's existing lore canon. That's an immersion killer for everyone involved. So remember, read your community's lore, kids. Heh, <laughs> aliens. Speaking of immersion, we find RP in a more reasonable scene. RP is the sort of player who remembers to pay attention to emotes and text conversations. He has the courtesy to understand even those without microphones deserve to be included. Watching for emotes is useful anyway. After all, it lets you know more about the characters that you meet. What's this? KOS has gotten himself killed while we've been watching RP. Sad, but a fact of life in the apocalypse. Thankfully, he can come back as himself or another character. Of course, only he gets to decide which. No one can permadeath a character that isn't their own. At least in most communities. Joe, they're in Gork at the head northwest. They killed you? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, there was five of them. And no giving out information after you died. Your character won't remember it, and you certainly couldn't inform anyone about it at that time. However, some communities may allow you to remember being injured. Always remember to check your local rules. Scars are treated the same as permadeath. While some communities may allow for unwilling scars being added to a character, most do not. I think you need to learn a lesson. I'm gonna take your eye. <laughs> Your mouth says no, but your eye says yes, yes. <laughs> After all, it isn't fair to try forcing someone to RP something they aren't comfortable with. This is especially true of scars that would need to be emoted in every scene like a missing eye. These sorts of things are power gaming. This is anything forced on a player against their will, without their permission. That makes a permanent change to the character. It also includes anything that shoehorns them into an action they didn't choose to take. If you'll allow an old man one bit of advice about power gaming, it's this. Don't. No. Oh no, KOS, what are you doing now? It's only been 20 minutes. You shouldn't be going back to your own body. You and your twin shouldn't exist in the same universe. This is a catastrophe for immersion, and it's cheating to boot. You, sir, are a scoundrel, and I do not approve of you breaking the new life rule. Well, we can trust that RP isn't cheating. Seems he's gotten himself into a firefight, though. At least he has a secure place to hunker down and return fire. Piece of you come up those stairs, boy, and I'm free painting that stairwell brain matter gray. Oh, what's this? RP, look out! I like my donut glaze, b What the f How'd you get there? Rest in peace, RP. I have a feeling we'll be seeing you again soon. Until then, I'm gonna go report that cheetah for ghosting. KOS has gotten himself into trouble again, and it seems that RP has got the upper hand. After all this, we finally got you. After all the things that you've done, tie his ass up. I'm at the barn to the east of town. There are three of them, and they are about to tie me up. Seriously? We're on our way, man. What's this? His hands are tied, and he doesn't even have a radio. Is he talking to himself? I doubt it. It seems he's decided to use TeamSpeak or some other third-party device to bypass the game and send for help. They shouldn't have any way to find him. When is he going to learn? To be oddly silent, to be too quiet, I don't like it. Blew the goddamn tire again. We need to move out and try and find either a patch kit or a new tire. Ah, it's you, again. RP and KOS have run into each other again. Just for the sake of argument, let's see how hostilities might start between them. What? No. Gee willikers, let's try this again. We need to move out and try and find either a patch kit or a new tire. Ah, it's you, again. Sorry about the situation last time. You say... He said sorry. Sorry's not gonna cut it this time. Not any time. Drop the weapon, put your hands up. Seriously? You should have checked around you. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, technically within the rules, I suppose. Still, KOS is showing a lack of imagination and isn't really allowing for fun roleplay. This would be rule play. Let's back up one last time. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. Sorry's not good enough. Drop the weapon. All right. Uh, all right. Stay calm. Calm. Uh, you, you 
don't want to do that. Calm. I am calm. But I don't trust you after your shenanigans. What I mean is my buddies are nearby. Well, the rest of our crew is in town. They'll keep an eye on your buddy. Walk slowly over that direction. It seems that KOS can eventually get the idea. When you initiate on someone, or are initiated on, try to remember it's about creating fun for everyone. If you just want to shoot each other, the moment you meet, there's always a public server waiting for you. Now that there's been initiation, there are many ways it can go poorly. Let's start with this one. And shut up or we kill you. What? If what? What do you want? Shut, uh, shut up. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Get grab, the grab the paint. Grab, grab the paint. Grab the bag. I got a bag. Give me a second. I gotta get the, the paint. Gear is the least important part of the game unless you happen to be starving. KOS was only focused on getting ammo, guns, and items. He didn't offer anything in terms of roleplay. Did you also notice how KOS kept shutting down conversation? What's the point at all if you don't get to interact? And don't forget to keep your hostage clothed and leave him with something to drink and eat. So then, what about how you explain your demands? Keep your hands up, move into the corner over there, face away from me, and get on your right. knees. Now, move. Yeah. Yeah, well, he, whatever you say, man, whatever yeah, you say. Do it now. You try to run, you, I said face away from me. You try to run, you try to get away, I'm gonna put a shotgun shell on your back. Yeah. We, we know you had a buddy, huh? Oh, where's he at? What's your buddy? Are you part of? Where'd you come from? Huh? How many are you? Huh? I, I, huh? I don't know. Huh? Too many Five, questions. Four, Three, no, 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 it's too many questions. Uh, hey, 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 whoa, Kevin, what? Kevin, Kevin, what? Kevin, stop. What? Calm down. What, Richard? Calm down. What? Calm well, down. it's heartwarming to see those two getting along for once. But my, aren't they different in style? RP was clear in what he expected and the consequences for not complying. KOS, on the other hand, was asking for information the player might not have, asking more than one thing at a time, explaining nothing about what would happen, and failing to give enough time for the player to properly react or comply. Remember, folks, there's often a delay in the system. He might not know I, the I information is what I'm trying to get at to you. I, 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 I'm, I'm I agree. Trying to think I we don't kill people. Kill we cold blood, Kevin. I think we should go! No, 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 please! Well now, what's this? KOS is abusing game mechanics, but why? Excuse me, can I get out, please? No. Why should I move? You're in my way, and I, I, I don't no. want to hurt you. No. Look, I don't have time for this. I need to get out, so can you please move? I don't want to have to shoot you. Hey! No! Hands up, Get hands back. up, hands up! It appears that KOS has broken two rules this time. Someone initiating on you gives you kill rights. But baiting into doing this is a definite no. Even though KOS's group didn't shoot right away, the baiting and abuse of game mechanics are unsportsmanlike and blatantly in violation of the rules. Gotcha, you smurf-loving bastard. I warned you. Now I'm gonna have to eat you. Oh, fuck you then, you Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh, you, you oh, tasty looking Jesus cheeseburger Christ. eating <laughs> tomato. Holy moly, that cat. Has he forgotten that it's about the role play? Always take care to minimize the risk to your hostages. Feed them and avoid hurting them directly so long as they are responsibly complying. Remember, emotes go a long way. I wonder how RP would have done it. No, I warned you. I warned you what would happen if you did what you did, but you did it anyway. So I want you to take a guess. Big wild guess. What's gonna happen? F you, little bitch. Oh. Little bitch. Well, I guess that answers that. Posing damage means you don't risk the poor fella dying and ending the roleplay prematurely. F you. Oh, what a boo boo. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be feeling that one in the morning. Now we all know that had to hurt. If a character's nerves work, make sure to emote a reaction. Or make sure it is conveyed in your voice. If a character's nerves don't work, promptly pick another character. Ow. So hand them back over, we'll negotiate what you want, and everyone can go their own separate ways. It doesn't have to be any bloodshed. These are the only terms that I'm going by, Palio. You go away now. Now, now, fellas, let's keep it civil. It's important you be open to hostage negotiations. If not in game, then through your server's team speak. After all, there's nothing so dramatically tense as a good hostage negotiation. Now, this is a nice change of pace. Notice how everyone has guns drawn, but aren't actually shooting at one another? Too much time on public servers give people itchy trigger fingers. The dramatic tension of a good standoff is so much more fun for everyone involved. Let's hope these boys find a way to work it out. Guys, no one needs to die. Will you please just put everything down? It's okay. 
Honestly. Ah, role play. This is it. End of the line. Come out with your hands raised, or we're coming in. I will burn this f***ing house down if you don't. That's what you think, bitch. Go. Yeah, hands go, up, go. you son of a... A most unfortunate choice. My combat marking, KOS has killed immersion, eliminated roleplay, and violated the rules for almost any roleplaying server in existence. I worry that we may have to give up hope on our friend KOS. What are you, what are you doing? I, why can't you just leave me alone? I didn't do anything. Wouldn't you like to know? You know what? Just drop your shit with all that gear boy you know what instead we're just gonna drop you well it seems anyone can make a mistake rp has been so good about following the rules but since he was eager to help out an innocent he's forgotten to initiate first since this person isn't a member of his group there's nothing allowing him to kill those who have captured the man there's almost certainly going to be a report filed. Still, admitting when you make a mistake and owning up to it is important. I'm sure RP will realize his oversight and after accepting a punishment, it will not happen again. Uh, hang on, what? Oh, okay, fine. I'll let it slide this time. Oh, that's right. The logs never lie. Uh, wait. What? Um, um, uh, okay. Well, look at you, Timmy, and how smartly dressed you are. Snazzy. Tell us, Timmy, you feeling ready to roleplay? Great. In conclusion, there are some basic things to take away. Keep in and out of character separated. Failure to do so is no fun for anyone. Have a well-thought-out character and don't focus on things that break immersion. You'll want to become part of the world. Focus on things that improve roleplay, rather than cutting it short. Everyone has a part to play in creating great roleplay. Remember that only you can have control over your own character, no one else's. Let them enjoy the creative process with you. No cheating or using mechanics unfairly. That's just common sense. Killing should be a last option rather than a first choice. Drawing things out is good for everyone. Aim for clarity in the actions you take and what you say. Confusion should be limited to intended obfuscations. If you do violate a rule by accident, own up to it. Avoidance leads to greater consequences. Keep these in mind and you'll soon be creating tremendous roleplay for those around you. Well then, go have fun, young man. It's time to start your own story. I'm so excited to see what you come up with, Timmy.